Aloha YouTube, this is Ty Turner. I'm going to showcase the update that just came to the Galaxy Fold 5G. Let's get into it. So if you like tech content, remember to hit the subscribe button, like this video so I can continue making more videos. And as always, this is sponsored by Aqua Ninja. Let's get into the review. So this is a ginormous update for the Fold where we went from Android 9 to Android 10. We also went from the Samsung UI 1.5 to the 2.0. So two big changes under the hood. And if you notice, we have the Google bar at the bottom where you have the assistant right here on the right side and the search bar in the middle. Before, this was just one connected bar. It's nice that this is a a much needed change for the home screen. Under the hood, we have a whole lot of other changes though, such as when you touch the volume button now, you can see there is kind of a slider that has the media logo. And you got, you got this cool thing where you can slide it forwards or backwards, depending on where you wanna go. And also you can toggle down and get all of your other corresponding volumes from one place. So you don't have to actually go to the settings to be able to see uh, this little menu. That's great that they have all of these settings in one place and you don't have to like navigate through different menus to figure it out. And you can also use the volume keys for media, which is actually super beneficial. Uh, so you don't have to like, you know, uh, touch this volume and then be, you know, messing with the ringtone volume and then you're like, oh no, 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 I wanted to turn in the sound for the video. And so, it's cool that they differentiate those and make them nice and easy. Now, getting into settings, this is where I noticed the most changes, of course. One, this top half of the screen is kind of uh, just dedicated to the word settings, so you get more of the content toward the bottom, which is super helpful for most people because you obviously can um, touch things way more easy. I mean, it's such a big screen. I mean, look how big this screen is. This is my whole hand. And you can notice that it's a really big screen. So browsing through, it's a lot more seamless if it only covers the top half of the screen. When you go into display now, you notice that at the top, there's a prominent light mode versus dark mode, completely new. Um, Samsung had something like this for the developer settings, but now it's brought to the forefront and you can just choose between light and dark. Another good thing that this mode brings is not only does it change the system UI for the settings, but it changes it for all of the menus. So all the apps that can support it, like Google Calendar, which previously didn't have a setting for it, now give you the option of having dark mode. Really, really helpful for uh, things like that. Because there's no dark mode setting in the app. You can't do it any other way other than this. So it's really good that you can have dark mode in any app basically, not just Samsung apps like before. Uh, they got the adaptive brightness, of course. Um, new features would definitely be more inclined to the edge screen. Now, at first I was like, what is edge lighting? And it shows this kind of diagram of a phone and, and the, the, the lights going around the edges. So I, I had to click on more. But essentially what this is, is when you get pop-ups, you know how on iPhone it has like a little boop and it pops up like kind of, I, you know, you really can't describe that. Maybe I'll show like a little anagraphic right here, but it just pops up like that. So on Android, they never really had a counter for that, but now you can. And as you notice, there's different effects. So that's the one I have right now. This is kind of like a little edge lighting. This is Eclipse. This is the heart. And like, and you see how like the pop-up animation did it? Like how it pops up like that? It looks really, really cool. You can do fireworks. You can do echo. And it makes the side of the screen do that. Let me show you that one again. So you see it, it does that on the side of the screen. I don't think I was in focus. Looks really cool. And this one is even more dope. This one I currently have does the little like pop up with the bubbles on the right side. So all of these have different things. As you can see, there's different effects. 
you can change the color of it if you want the the background color to be a different um like when it pops up you can have the little effects icon be blue green whatever color you want really cool that they have that you can even add a, your own personalized keyword to it for certain apps you can change the transparency the duration anything like that making it nice and easy and i think that this is a really great addition for uh, android in general because a lot of notifications on android are just very obtrusive and i'm sorry to say this but samsung is one of the worst offenders with it where the notification panel just gets super crowded with a lot of stuff no matter what you do so now that they have a way to deal with the notification settings a lot more seamlessly it makes it a way better experience overall very great addition i applaud android in general just having edge screen really great stuff um, obviously they have more improvements into the in the wallpaper department you can uh, you can now browse from all three sources straight from this you don't have to go to a separate Samsung app to do that I really appreciate that and you can even apply dark mode to the wallpaper I'm not gonna go through every single setting because obviously some people you know really don't care about it and for the people that do care about it you don't want to see all the nitty-gritty stuff and, and maybe I will show it in a different video but maybe not this video in the notification section, you can see that you have all these different options from suggest action replies to snooze option to show app badges. So basically going back to what I said about how the notification panel is very crowded and cramped, they really wanted to address that in this update and make it a lot more seamless for everyone so that you don't have to, you know, see all of these different clusters of apps and things like that going in your notification because come on let's be honest nobody want to see that you don't want to see all that uh biometrics and security is pretty much the same but I'll, I'll show you how it looks anyway just because why not i'll just click on everything from the first thing i click on the wrong one don't don't judge me so you can see sky fingerprint scanner uh your google security update as you notice my security update is the current most current march 1st so that's how you know I had that. And also, I'm going to show you the um, the system update for the app, too, because it's just in case you're... As you can see, software 1 UI 2.0, 2.1, Android version 10. You can see my baseband, my kernel, everything up to speed. When we go to advanced features, you can see you got smart pop-ups, Bixby routines. We're going to turn that off to just... Just kills battery uh, for no reason. You can customize what the side key is nowadays if you want it to be the camera or anything like that. Since you have uh, like an extra button on the side right there, you can basically choose what you want that to be nowadays, which is really cool. Direct share means like if you take a screenshot, you how do you want to share it? It has like all these uh, like separate options for you. Really cool. Game launcher is good if you play a lot of games on your phone. Um, like me, you can have... Um, it kind of optimizes stuff. It, it conserves battery life and things like that to make the experience nice for you. Because obviously, if you're a gamer, you really want to do that. This is a very slept on feature, and I really appreciate that they upgraded it, which is called device care. Now, it rates your own device based on a few metrics. Battery, storage, memory, and it sees all of the apps running in the background, and it tells you how to optimize. If you just press optimize now, it does a lot of things in the background, closes some stuff to make sure that you have the best experience possible. Um, especially like sometimes you might check here and like let's say you got Facebook for instance. I don't have Facebook, but if you have Facebook, maybe it's taking up a lot of storage or it's waking your phone up a lot to make it, you know, distract you. So this will see that and it'll say, well, like you notice that Facebook is waking up. It woke your phone up 38 times and that you should close it and it'll automatically force close it from from this so it's just a good way especially like if you're about to do something or you notice your phone's been a little a little slow or whatever anything like that just go to device care check that out digital well-being is kind of the same thing but for your personal health where you can use timers to track how much you've been using the app so you know somebody's like oh no i, I don't i'm not on social media all day i mean you could just look at this and see like yeah you you kind of are you know it is a good way to make everybody get a little bit more humbled about how much they use their phone because we all are guilty of using our phones like like crazy. Let's be honest. 
Developer options actually have a lot more options now. This is, um, as you can see, you got different web views and things like that. Uh, USB debugging, especially if you're a developer like me, and it's a lot of cool stuff in there. Got a uh, system tracing. You can see all of these yourself, so you can notice if you uh, if you're interested in any of these. But as you just see, they they have them categorized at this point. So literally, whatever you and you notice, I got the animation scale down to 0.5. It's really smart. DPI I talked about this in a separate video, but that's it's really cool for this phone since it's such a big phone. And uh, definitely a lot of settings in the developer options. Like literally, no matter what you want to do with this phone, it can essentially, you know, oh, force desktop mode. What? Even if it's just for secondary displays, that's still cool. As we know, you're a nerd for real. <laughs> this is kind of cool. So, like, if you want to have your notifications show up, like, let's say you're a big... For me, Hangouts is a great example. right? I use Hangouts more prioritized than, like, messaging or things like that. So, if I get a Hangouts notification, if I have this turned on, I can actually have the Hangouts notification, like, like slide to the top as if it's the most important thing versus like other things such as like a YouTube notification. Don't really care too much about a YouTube notification since it's in inbox anyway. So it's really good that they have that that ability to do that. Get the little notification bubbles. Why well, might as well turn that on, why not? And then teardrop is the best. Was it teardrop? Yeah, it was teardrop. Yeah, it was teardrop. I keep everything else the same. They got different colors, as you can see. You got cinnamon, black, green, ocean, space, orchid. And it's just for the background color, though. Like So, like that. Like, those things. I'm pretty sure it would change these colors, too. So, like, for the... Uh, the... Like, sliders and pretty much everything. Anything that has an accent color, I'm pretty sure it changes it. Orchid. Orchid. Yeah, I, like, I think space is... No, I want ocean. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think it just changes those to make it, like, more more ocean blue but yep that's pretty much like the main things you can see in the settings um these are already customizable so those are the new things if, if there's new updates to the thing that i didn't already see such as the the volume the menu all the things that i already have pointed out in this video probably make a follow-up video but for something else and then just kind of title that in the in the thumbnail but as always comment rate subscribe if you have a fold, um, comment that below and tell me if you've noticed any other updates that I haven't mentioned in this video. Because um, I probably can think of a couple. I might leave it in the, the description below. As always, have an awesome day.